enthalpy and entropy. Enthalpy, symbolized by H, the same as the delta H that we use, is a measure of the potential energy stored in chemical bonds. The tendency in nature is for systems to go in the exothermic direction, to release energy, not unlike a coffee cup simply cooling down. So what I mean by that is that systems tend to favor minimum enthalpy. Let me show this on a graph. Here's an exothermic reaction in the forward direction. Well, products are favored because the activation energy is lower going towards products. For the endothermic reaction, the situation is reversed. Reactants are favored because of the lower activation energy in the reverse direction. Always it's the exothermic direction that's favored. Entropy is a completely separate idea. Symbolized by S, it's a measure of the randomness or disorder present in a system. What I mean is that the more disorder or chaos there is, the greater the amount of entropy, which again I symbolize with an S. In a chemical system, it's easy to spot high entropy. Increasing entropy goes between solids to liquids to gas uh, sorry, solids to liquids to aqueous, and then gas. Gases have the highest entropy, and the tendency in nature is for systems to increase in entropy. Systems favor maximum entropy, which is why your bedroom might be easier to make messy than clean. So why do we care? Well, we can use these two concepts to decide what will happen in a reaction if we're just given a full balanced equation. Will our reaction go spontaneously? Will it go to equilibrium? Or will it not react at all? Or go to completion? In this example, we have minimum enthalpy in the product. You can spot that with the energy term out there. Maximum entropy because five moles of gas have greater entropy than two moles of gas. When gases are present, just completely ignore anything else. In this system, enthalpy is decreasing in the forward direction and entropy is increasing. These are both supporting the reaction, going all the way to completion, meaning all you'll see are products and no reactants left over at the end. Here's another example. Nitrogen and hydrogen will react to make ammonia. In this balanced equation, I also show that it's exothermic. Maximum entropy is in the reactants because four moles, one of nitrogen and three of hydrogen, is greater than the two moles of gas in the ammonia. It's also exothermic, so one favors reactants, the other products, and that's equilibrium. In the last reaction, here we have more gas in the reactants, so entro entropy favors reactants. And so does enthalpy, because the energy turns in the reactants. This reaction will not go. All systems go to a balance between minimum enthalpy and maximum entropy. Thanks very much.